before uh, before starting the class let's pray and then begin a loving gracious father thank you so much for your wonderful presence lord thank you so much for your protection on our children and on their parents lord be with the children lord help us to understand today's lesson without any trouble you are the god of wisdom lord as the verse says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom lord provide our children your wisdom to make use of their knowledge in the right way lord in jesus name we pray amen we will start the class children as we discussed children we will start with the reproductive system of uh, leech leech is a hermaphrodite animal a hermaphrodite animal means what both the male and female reproductive organs are present in the same animal ore animal laye male reproductive organ um female reproductive organ um same irundathu appadina that kind of animals are called hermaphrodites best example leech um we can see the diagram here let me show it here leech male reproductive system you can see the testes here these are nephridio this is testes okay 11 pairs of uh, uh, testes are present from uh, here 12th segment it begins from 12th segment to the 22nd segment okay male reproductive organs and female reproductive organ you can see it here ovary present here is ovary okay this is a genital external pore of female organ okay so both male reproductive organ and female reproductive organs are present in the same animal that is why it is called hermaphrodite animal coming to male reproductive system we will see 11 pairs of uh, testes one pair uh, in each segment and it is from 12th segment to 22nd segments present from each testes arises a short duct called vas efferens and that join with the vas deferens and both vas deferens becomes a convoluted folded twisted coiled and that forms into the epididymis or sperm vesicle a uh, function for this uh, epididymis is to store spermatozoa you can see the diagram here let me focus okay 10th segment this is the 11th segment and this is the 12th segment seriya yeah. over segment le over testes a pair of testes or pagadhiya matra eduth kaatirukku idla okay testes testes extends with the vas efferens a small duct this small duct is connected to the common duct called vas deferens children enga irundhu vandirukku இங்க டுவெல்த்தில் இருந்து டுவெண்ட்டி செகண்ட் செக்மெண்ட் வரைக்கும் லெவன் பேர்ஸ் ஆஃப் டெஸ்டஸ் இட் நவ் திஸ் வாஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் தட் காமன்லி கம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஜாயின்ஸ் அஸ் அ காயில்டு டியூல்ஸ் கால் எபிடி டைமஸ் அதுதான் இப்போ நம்ம பார்த்தோம் திஸ் எபிடி டைமஸ் ஆர் த ஸ்பர்ம் வெசிக்கல் here only spermatozoa or sperms are stored children now this epididymis leads to a short duct and this is ejaculatory duct which helps in ejaculation comes out okay ejects out to the common opening called atrium atrium abina opening nu artham male genital opening and this atrium itself is divided into two one is prostrate highly coiled and finally 
a small narrow duct called a penis okay so this is about what male reproductive system this male reproductive system da inge namakku picture la indha maadhiri irukku can you see it here glaring okay this you can see here so this portion only i showed you here last three segments i showed here this is atrium okay you can refer to the uh, to our text so it will be easier for you coming to female reproductive system female reproductive system comprises ovaries oviducts and vagina mm, we can um, see the diagram here this is ov sac actually inside the ov sac ovary is present okay ovary is ovary is it is like a, a ribbon like a coiled tubes that is present inside the ov sac ov abinala egg nu artham sac abina bag ovary abina ovary ku la egg irukku nu artham okay so இந்த ஓவி சாக்குக்குள்ள ஓவரி இருக்கு இப்ப இந்த பகுதி எங்க இருக்குன்னா இங்க வாங்க திஸ் இஸ் ஃபீமேல் ரீப்ரடக்டிவ் ஆர்கன் ஃபீமேல் ரீப்ரடக்டிவ் ஆர்கன் இப்ப நம்ம பார்த்த ஓவி சாக் இன்சைட் தட் திஸ் காயில்டு ஓவரி இஸ் பிரசன்ட் நவ் திஸ் ஓவரி காயில்டு போர்ஷன் எக்ஸ்டென்ஸ் அஸ் ஓவி டக்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஓவி டக்ட் duct is a vessel that carries the ova eggs a thookittu vara or a small tube like structure i told you it is a pair of uh, ovary illaya so inda pakkam onnu irukku inda pakkam onnu irukku now this ov duct and one more ov duct is present here isn't it so both the ov ducts follows a common ov duct and that ends up with the vagina vagina is a female genital opening this you have actually in you can see the diagram here in the 11th segment okay and this is in our book here this portion so this portion is only enlarged for you and i have drawn this for you able to get so this is about the female reproductive system and coming to the development a uh, fertilization is internal it takes place internally why hermaphroditic animal both male and female organs are present but the copulation takes place in uh, higher classes we will learn and the children remember uh, cocoon is uh, also called a egg case that is formed in the segments 9th 10th 11th segments in suli pathome a uh, temporary clitellum ah there the cocoons are formed and the development is direct and it proceeds in the cocoon and each cocoon will contain one egg case kulla at least 1 to 24 embryos even more can be present now young leech will come out from the cocoon abina or cocoon la rendu 24 embryos kitta veliya varum ana adu varum bodhe it resembles the adult leech okay so this is about the development of leeches coming to parasitic uh, adaptations of leech they lead a parasitic mode of life by sucking blood of vertebrates and uh, they show several important adaptations in structure yeah blood sucking da avangalude valiye aidichu appo they have to show many adaptations nare adaptations eduthukono illaya yeah blood suck pananume so blood is sucked by pharynx nam adu paathitu okay the second uh, adaptation is anterior and posterior end of the body are provided with the suckers what anterior sucker and posterior sucker liya yeah. why it is for the body attachment yes the animal attaches itself to the body of the host then uh, three jaws inside the mouth are the y shaped tri radiate paathume Uh, and the uh, tri radiant y shaped uh, uh, mouth it has jaws and uh, it uh, it incises just a prick is given in the uh, skin of the host 
then the salivary glands produces hirudin this we have seen what is the function of this children hirudin which does not allow the blood to coagulate and that is why blood continuously supplied to the uh, digestive tract then parapodia and setae are completely absent in abdina kaal la irukra a kind of a special organ it is not there uh, no need of uh, these two actually in the leech because it leads a parasitic mode of life then um, blood is stored in the crop paathutom nama 10 chambers of crop is uh, present in the leech in paathom and it gives nourishment to the leech for several months how many months more than 12 months in soli paathom illa one year and due to this reason there is no elaborate secretion of digestive juices and enzymes very simple digestion is very simple and it takes for one year adanalu solra padikku uh digestive uh, secretion o alladhu uh, juices edhu thevai illai enzymes o idhukku thevai illai coming to next topic rabbit orictolagus cuniculus taxonomic position phylum chordata phylum vertebrata class mammalia order lagomorpha genus orictolagus species cuniculus children idu nyambam iruka phylum class order genus species nyambam vechikiradhukku first kingdom king praest class 1 genus student key words hmm? learning point okay so this is the order you can learn coming to uh, habit and uh, habitat of rabbit rabbit pidikadhavanga yaarume irukka maatanga la muyal alagana amaidiyana It's very gentle, timid animal. Uh, it shows a leaping movement. It lives in burrows. It lives in burrows. It lives in burrows. It lives in burrows. And a cosmopolitan. It lives worldwide. It is a herbivorous animal feeding on grass, vegetables, purely vegetarian. Feeds on turnips, carrots, lettuce. And it is a gregarious animal. What is a gregarious animal? It moves. Uh, in group and they live in group children so that is why it is called as gregarious animal uh, coming to external morphology external morphology avena nam erkanave paathitom learning about the external characters externally okay how the head is uh, how it is uh, developed structurally it is organized morphologically how it is that we are going to see now okay coming to external morphology of uh, rabbit shape elongated and they are uh, cylindrical a uh, size male and female they are of uh, same size it grows about uh, 45 uh, cm and uh, weighs about uh, uh, 2.25 kg as adult this is about the weight color paakona it varies from white to black in color or black to white uh, pure white in color and uh, some changes we can see in the coloration body and it is fully covered by fur wool okay why it is this is for the protection children the thermoregulator it is it gives warmth to the uh, rabbit the, so that is the main function of the fur the body divisions it is uh, divided into head neck trunk tail head neck this is a trunk region and this is a tail region so morphologically four uh, different divisions it has what are they trunk this is trunk neck head and tail it has coming to head region it is ovoid oval shaped irukku parunga it is ovoid and flattened and uh, it this flattened head has a truncate snout this is the snout region flat region cut region small so this is about the head and head bears mouth mouth is a, a small a slit portion here you have and above the mouth external nostrils are present 
we say nose but here in animals we say nostril and um, eyes pair of eyes and uh, beautiful ears and vibrisse what is vibrisse it is a long stiffed whiskers children a hair that is present uh, just above the upper lip or in animal few animals it, any part of the uh, face also it is present that is a special case of the mammals and uh, coming to this mouth upper lip and the lower lip a uh, small slit i told you already about the mouth only it is a slant opening and it is called a nostril this also we have seen and um, this uh, vibrisse i have told you in the upper uh, lip uh, male side le it's a tactile hair a whisker okay coming to a large ear they are movable pinna முயல் காது அப்படின்னாலே ஒரு ஸ்பெஷலைஸ்ட் சாஃப்ட் கார்னர் வந்துடும் இல்லையா ஸோ இட் இஸ் ப்ரெசன் அட் த டாப் ஆஃப் த ஹெட் ஆஃப் த ரேபிட் கம்மிங் டு த நெக் நெக் ரீஜியன் இஸ் அ ஸ்மால் போர்ஷன் தட் கனெக்ட்ஸ் த ஹெட் அண்ட் த ட்ரங்க் ரீஜியன் தட்ஸ் இட் அபவுட் அண்ட் திஸ் நெக் ரீஜியன் இஸ் ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் இன் த ஹெட் டு மூவ் ஹியர் அண்ட் தேர் okay so this is the function of the neck coming to the trunk region this is the trunk region um this is anterior and the posterior anterior part is called thorax region posterior part is called the abdominal region marbu pagudi and this is the vayur pagudi okay so two uh, portions are there in the trunk itself one is anterior trunk and the other one is the posterior abdominal region in uh, female rabbit if it is a female rabbit it has got four to five teeth teeth are nothing but the nipples they are present on the ventral side between the thorax region ku abdomen region ku edaila so in the pagudila mammary gland is present and the teeth are present etana four to five teeth are present here so in between here in the thorax region ko in the abdomen region ko edaila then coming to the limbs uh, two limbs four limbs and the hind limb this is one pair and this is another pair and here four limbs are shorter than the uh, hind limb this is uh, longer and this is shorter all the digits pentadactyle nu sonnaliya pentadactyle means five digits it will have and it is ends up with the claws okay and coming to the anus region this is the thigh region tail region in inge ipo idu vandu dorsal region idu dorsal portion ventral portion la da ipo namma paathirukom so ventral portion la anus is present it's a posterior end of the abdomen and um, in and if it is a female there is a slit called vulva region is present if it is a male then uh, penis a pair of testis penis and also a pair of testis testis are kept safe inside the sac like structure called scrotal sac it is present here so this is about the external morphology of a rabbit so we are in the morphology of uh, the rabbit the next part is a tail and tail is a very short region and uh, this short tail helps in the rabbit to communicate the information any enemies are coming in the dangerous uh, situation this will uh, uh, wiggle and uh, wriggle it and the twirl it and with the help of that changing movement this will uh, be communicated to their friends and they will run off it seems children even the predators the enemies that are coming to chase the rabbits this will confuse by a continuous wriggling of the tail it seems so enemies will get confused because of this uh, continuous wriggling of the tail and it will go and it will run off it seems children how beautifully uh, uh, adapted to the uh, situation so this is about the 
uh, tail coming to the external morphology the continuation the last is we have skin that is uh, a integument the skin is otherwise called the outer covering of any animal especially the mammals okay so when we take uh, integument it comprises of what and all might be the hair the claws nails all these together forming the integument so coming to the skin uh, we know already that it gives the warmth uh, feeling to the uh, animal and coming to the glands of the animal integuments a sweat gland it has sebaceous gland it has and the mammary gland it has what about the uh, speciality of these glands actually uh, sweat glands and uh, sebaceous glands are embedded in the skin and they regulate in the body temperature so both sweat gland and the sebaceous gland they are embedded what do you mean by embedded podinji irukku skin la podinji irukku and the function is to regulate the body temperature coming to the mammary gland mammary gland is a modified gland of the skin actually children so this secretes uh, milk and that helps in the nourishing of the young ones so which is the most important features of the mammal coming to the body cavity that is otherwise called coelom i'll take uh, the part coelom body cavity so coelomate animal it is it is a, a true coelomate animal cavity abdina gali ed only ha shallow hollow the region it has the body cavity and uh, two uh, cavities it has one is the thoracic cavity and the other one is the abdominal cavity in thoracic region lungs and heart is present and abdominal uh, region digestive system and the urinogenital system is present so both are separated by a transverse partition called a diaphragm diaphragm is like a slit to children it is a layer actually a layer of a, a skin actually a, a clear part that uh, separates our upper uh, thoracic region and the lower abdominal region even in uh, us in human being we have this uh, diaphragm uh, it is a best characteristic feature of the mammal because this diaphragm only helps aids in the respiration movement so respiring movement breathing movements is brought about by the movement of the diaphragm only coming back coming back to the digestive system it includes alimentary canal and digestive uh, system together alimentary canal is otherwise the digestive canal from mouth to anus is called alimentary canal and it has got associated digestive uh, glands also uh, we'll have uh, a nutshell starting from mouth to the the anus okay this is about the alimentary canal it begins with mouth and uh, mouth is a transverse a slit yes bounded by upper and lower lips this we have seen already and this is followed by a buccal cavity mouth leads to the buccal cavity and here in the buccal cavity there is the, on the floor of the buccal cavity a muscular tongue is present and the mouth it has got jaws it bears teeth also so both upper jaw and lower jaw they have teeth this buccal cavity once again buccal cavity what before the mouth that is mouth leads to the buccal cavity vaayila irukra pagudi okay orally buccal cavity and that leads to the pharynx and pharynx is followed or it follows the esophagus esophagus then opens into the stomach stomach to the small intestine small intestine to the cecum cecum uh, leads to actually this is the bridge between the small intestine and the large intestine and large intestine is uh, divided of uh, colon and rectum and finally large intestine ends up with the anus okay let us see uh, one by one now 
you can see the diagram this is esophagus leads to the stomach stomach leads to the small intestine small intestine to the colon colon is a special region in the herbivorous animal see here and cecum is very 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 special in the herbivorous animal and this is uh, vermiform appendix and what is special about this cecum cecum is a very thin walled sac like a bag and here a kind of a bacteria that lives here and uh, we know very well that herbivorous animals they eat plants yes they eat grass they eat vegetables now in plant cell cell wall of the plant it is made up of cellulose now any herbivorous animal that eats cellulose yes cell wall made up of isn't it so when it comes in the digestion will become very difficult children now what happens what is the adaptation or what is the special creation by god all the herbivorous animals this region cecum region here a, a special kind of bacteria that lives in now mutual understanding between the bacteria and these herbivorous animals because bacteria will uh, secrete a special substance or enzyme called cellulase now that cellulase will break down the walls of the cellulose able to get now cellulose will get digested so this is a mutual understanding in the herbivorous animals so bacteria special bacteria that are present in the cecum then uh, it leads to the small uh, a portion called colon and uh, we know very well that it is a bridge between the small intestine and the large intestine and this colon and the rectum are the part of the large intestine so what is about uh, special about rectum whichever is not wanted roughage whichever is not absorbed need not want by the animal then that will be stored here in the rectum then which is ejaculated or ejected out through the anus so this is about the digestive system of rabbit so in digestive system the next part is digestive glands as uh, digestive glands include salivary gland gastric gland liver pancreas and intestinal gland so all these together comprising the digestive glands and they are especially in the secretion and they help in the digestion of the food so all these together they secrete a special secretion that facilitates the digestion of the food children now coming back to the dentition dentition means what dentition means teeth the formation of the teeth especially in um, mammals the teeth we have got a different types of teeth we have first is now uh, diphyodont teeth we have and uh, diphyodont means in lifetime any animal which has got a two set of uh, teeth then it is called diphyodont di means two times phyodont don't means teeth so two times they will have a teeth what is that one is a milk teeth when they are young then they have milk teeth when they are adult then permanent teeth will be formed so the formation or the presenting of the two uh, set of teeth in the lifetime of an animal then it is called diphyodont so two sets of teeth what is teeth actually it is a hard bone like structure why it is used do we need to have teeth children yes of course why it is to used to cut tear and grind cut pananum kilikanum grind pananum either food material so we need to have the 
teeth. Now, one more type we have in um, a mammal and that is called heterodont. What is heterodont? Hetero means different, don't means teeth. So, different teeth we have, mammals have and they are called heterodont. What are the different types of teeth? ICPM. This leave this M. You just read like this. ICPM. Tell me. ICPM. ICPM. I stands for incisor. C stands for canine. PM stands for premolar and M stands for molar. Actually children, this is the order, arrangement of the teeth. What is the formula? Tell me just uh, leave this M and tell me now. ICPM. So different types of teeth that are present in the mammal, especially rabbit is called uh, heterodont ICPM. This is the dental formula of uh, rabbit. Dental formula represents uh, I, C, P, M and M. Uh, 2 by 1, C, 0 by 0, P, M, 3 by 2 and uh, molar 3 by 3. What does it mean children? This is about uh, um, incisor, upper jaw 2 and in lower jaw incisor teeth is 1, tooth 1. Canine, no in uh, canines at all in rabbit. Premolar, upper jaw 3 and lower jaw premolar 2. And molar teeth in upper jaw 3 and uh, lower jaw also 3 will be present. So, in short form it is called 2033 by 1023. In um, rabbit, canines are absent children. Why canines are absent in rabbit? Is there any need of uh, ra rabbit to have canines? Yes, of course, it is a herbivorous animal. Mm. So, canine teeth is not needed by the animal. Why canine teeth then? Canine teeth is for tearing the uh, uh, flesh. Yes, of course, you are right. Canine teeth to tear the flesh. Now, it is not a flesh eating animal. So, herbivorous animal, especially rabbit will not have this canine at all. That is why 0, 0, no canine teeth present here. It is absent. But in between the incisors and the premolar, there is a gap between here and that is called a diastema. Diastema is helpful in mastication. Norukradhuk and chewing. Kadikradhuk, norukradhuk, the food. So in herbivorous animal, diastema is a specialized uh, uh, organ or a formation that is present in rabbit. You can see the diagram here. See, this is diastema. Upper jaw and this is the lower jaw. Incisors. Yes. Here only canines should be present. So no canines are there. So instead of canine, diastema is present. Premolar and molar. Okay. Upper jaw, three are present. And molar also 3 present. Here premolar only 2 and here molar 3. Okay, so this is about the dentition of a rabbit. That is dentition means arrangement of teeth in the jaws. Okay, we will see in the next class the other uh, systems like respiratory system, circulatory system, nervous system and all we will see in the next class. Okay, I will send you the pages then i will uh, send you the questions and answers so that you can copy down in your classwork all the best children may god bless you stay safe and secure stay blessed at home